Well, he's quick to watch when a defenseman gets hurt or yeah. gets pulled. <laughs> yeah. He's quick to realize you guys that. balance each other out. Quite I'll tell well. you the mistake the forward makes all the time. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Power play here for New Jersey. It's a lethal one as well as Nason wrapped it in front, went off the left skate of Sorokin. Oh, an excellent job on the on the PK for the Islanders. Not, not really a great opportunity for the uh, for the Devils. Turned over in the neutral zone just as the penalty ended. Timo Meyer lost it, got it back, wrapped it in front, and it was stopped by Sorokin. More than halfway through the first, Islanders perfect on the kill to keep it scoreless. McDermott with it for Dowling, swing and a miss, and it's taken by McLean the other way. And a McDermott hit on Alex Romanov that the Islanders are still feeling the effects of. McLean centers, Holmstrom scores! Great look by McLean, incredible finish by Holmstrom. Just a couple of quick plays, and watch Natty Martin gets in on the four check, finishes his check on, uh, on Kovacevic, and that's Holmstrom's favorite move he gets in there and he gives a little forehand fake watch the fake forehand then cut back and has a presence of mind to wait long enough to clear that stick clear the body of the and now nico he's here all the way over for mercer he's got some room drops it on a weave for meyer meyer to the front and sorokin made the save on he's here good opportunity for the new jersey devils palmary headman is simplikov red line and in Coming around, Palmieri will have to go get it as Nelson just now getting on the ice after the change. Chance in front, here's Brock Nelson, right back into Markstrom. Koff is the one that guns, uh, wraps it around the boards. The Islanders get in on the four check, and you're going to see Palmieri force the puck loose. And then a nice little play by Sippy as he gets out, a rebound. Five hole for Brock. He loves to go five hole, Brendan. That was nifty, wasn't it? Well, something that the coaches like to see you. Uh, do that kind of a player again another turnover so that's like five in the first two and a half minutes here's cotter dropping it off and sorokin makes the save point blank on pesci who had jumped up on the play the crease is able to whack it towards the net like i said you, you've got to make an effort to get that puck in and devils jump up in a hurry and then watch the pass out the slot devils with the face off power play Working around the offensive zone. Hughes downhill. Wrist shot scores. Jack Hughes on the power play, and the Devils have tied the score. He has a terrific wrist shot and likes to get his shoulder squared away and, and, and just lets that shot go. And there's a screen shot in front and long enough and ends up going far side. But you'll see him get cocked and loaded. Mayfield's got to take away that far side of the net. This one finds its way through, but just the poise on Hughes just waited for it. This will be the perfect angle. Yeah, let's just take another look at it and Scotty trying to trying to block it. Sometimes I, I you know it goes right between the five hole and Sorokin never sees it. Ryan Pollock wanting that home run pass for Sezikis. Devils haven't let that get through very often. Here's Brat turning in and Sorokin able to stretch out and keep it out. The forwards got to put themselves in a hole. You're, just because you get out, you've got to cut across the middle of the ice. You've got to find Luke Hughes right through the middle. Hutton lost it. Jack Hughes and cuts back and Sorokin held his ground. That right leg got to the post to deny Jack Hughes. Right leg of his posted up. And there's a good four check by Hughes and he's so quick. And watch these moves. I mean, that's not easy to do. And look at the stretch there. And... Played for Siplikov off the wall, not out. Pesci kept it in again, gave it right back to Ryan Polak and he'll use the legs this time. Left side, here's a chance for Engvall, in shot, shoulder out of play by Marstrom. Angle, they got a pretty good shot. To see. You're not sure how good this guy can skate. And it's involved in that swarm of players that moved up the wall. Horvat, got it down for Lee. Anders Lee for Horvat, right on! Marstrom leaning towards the goal line, but keeps his balance and held it out. Nelson, Dobson. That shot ramped off the stick of Brad and hit off the high glass. Now we've seen a lot more from Dobson over the last two, three games as far as getting up the ice. Here's Brad from an angle with a shot, produced a big rebound and secured by Paul Marion. Normalcy for the rest of the D pairs, the way they are able to work them, and certainly a regular D partner for Noah Dobson. Holmstrom almost able to slip by Luke Hughes. Holmstrom 
Got it through. A chance and they score! Dennis Chalowski puts the Islanders ahead here in the third. He hasn't seen a lot of ice time tonight, but he makes good on a shift here in the final period. Playing the Islanders in this third period, we've seen the defense jump up way more than they did in the first two periods and uh, create some some terrific offsets and what a nice pass by by homer again that just snaps that puck he's got a terrific shot you don't have to think right now holmstrom is the number one player for the islanders first star i mean he has been all over the ice he's had several chances to score skating extremely well it's a two-point night for simon holmstrom he's got a goal and an assist give pierre engvall the back assist on that goal here's luke hughes cruising in luke hughes cracked by sorokin the whole way and Sipikov going down there on the play, forced Hughes to, to take it wide. Three on two if they push it. Nelson's up as well. Four on two. Here he is. Nelson scores! Nelson was the late man, and he got himself to the front of the net unmarked. And the Islanders score two quick ones. They lead by two. Easy play for him, and then away the Islanders go. Paul Mary cutting into the middle. He sees his centerman and makes absolutely no mistake about that. But, Brendan, you called it right. It was a four-on-two. And I was just talking about the Islanders in the third period have had their defense. 20-second shift just to kind of break the break the sort of the routine. Paul Cotter closed on by George. Cotter able to shed him. Spun to the front, and they score. Paul Cotter with a great feed for Dawson Mercer. And with four and a half to go, the Devils get one back. And uh, Dodson was right there with uh, Mercer. Mercer was able to get a stick on it and chop it up over the sh right shoulder. Of good play by by Cotter on, the, on this play. As you can see, the Brian Pollock tries to stand up. And here's the power move. And watch the Islanders as they come back. Amazing how he got that up, Butch. Just yeah. a little chip shot. And a good play by Cotter. And everybody slide by and... I'm interested if that went off. Well, off, off Mercer off, got off. it, but if it hit anything else too. No, that's all. That's all Mercer. What a could he get it on net? Dylan shot blocked by Pajot. Hands off for Lee quickly to Horvat. Horvat driving to the goal, snapped on net. It leaks through Markstrom, who thought he had it. Played for Heeshier. Thompson went to the corner for it. It comes to Jesper Bratt out high for Hamilton. Hamilton to Jack Hughes. Jack Hughes down low. Nason to the crease and it popped to the corner. Comes to Jack Hughes again. Final minute of regulation time. Islanders by one. Jack Hughes waits with it. Goal line. Nason off the skate and it's in. Stefan Nason banked it off the skate of Grant Hutton and the Devils have tied it in the final minute. Down low and you've heard me say it a number of times. Over the season, as you throw the puck across the crease, you never know what's going to happen, and that just bounce off the skate. That's just unlucky for, for Hutton. He, he's got good position, and they just fired all the way across. And Isha was in the area, but... They tried that right before, too, Butch. The yeah. exact same play. That's just, ba that's just bad luck. That, yeah, that is. I mean, uh, Sorokin can't get his skate to, to stick in the middle to... He'll wind and shoot it off the glass, rattles around right to Bo Horvat, but it skipped his stick at the last moment. Jack Hughes stumbles down. Horvat quickly and alertly gets to the puck, cuts out in front, and Markstrom made the save. It's alive, and Ryan Pullock comes to grab it. Holmstrom has Sezikis trailing, got it to Dobson. Dobson waits, give it back in front, and an off-balance back in. Look out. One too tall. Jack Hughes behind the play. Here he goes, a chance to win it. Score! The Devils come back, win it in overtime on the game-winning goal from Jack Hughes, his second of the night. And now there's a great pass there by Hamilton as Jack Hughes is watching, figuring, hey, if they score, the game's over anyway. So I'm sitting up here by the blue line and beautiful play by Hamilton to recognize he couldn't get it straight up. And goes right in and he just snaps it right past uh, Sorokin. No chance there. Quite an exciting overtime period, Brendan. But, it, you know, it's a shame because the Islanders played so well in the third period. They get up to two goals and they let it slide away. And, and that's...